The Sunday Times owned by Rupert Murdoch is now claiming that somehow it was Kay Milton who came up with that, you know, statement. Recollections may vary after the Oprah interview with Harry and Meghan. <laughs> My family, I'm sorry, but I find that very, very hard to believe. There is no way that this person, K. Morton, can come up with that. No way, 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 no way. There is no way K. Milton comes up to courtiers and senior members of the royal family and tells them to respond to Harry Meghan by saying, and I quote, recollections may vary. There is no way K. Milton does that. No way. Not K. Milton. My family... Also, there is something I want to say. Just a few months ago, here is what the Sunday Times owned by Rupert Murdoch. Here is what they did. Just back in December 17 of 2022, here is the tweet they posted. And I quote, In the aftermath, or the interview with Oprah Winfrey. Or Soap Opera, as the palace dubbed it. Queen Elizabeth issued her masterstroke statement that, and I quote, some recollections may vary. When the royal family stood accused of racism and callous disregard for the couple's mental health. Just a few months ago, even years ago, they said it was the queen who came up with that statement. And now that the queen has passed away, now they are saying it's Kay Moulton who said that. <laughs> lies too many lies too many lies it's too much you know right now the times just a few months after the queen passed away here is what they are saying now now that the queen has passed away the day after harry and megan's bombshell interview with oprah winfrey negotiations began over the official response, William and Kim Milton sat together on a sofa as they discussed with their officials how to deal with the Harry and Meghan incendiary allegations. That's what they're saying now, months after the Queen passed away. You know, I just wish from the bottom of my heart, that people could just see how they are being lied to so, so oftenly by media outlets owned by the Maddox and the Rothmeyers, especially in anything having to do with Harry and Meghan. Don't forget, Harry is suing a Rupert Maddox owned tablet, The Sun. So obviously, They'll go after anyone Harry loves. And that is Megan, the mother of his children. To try and get Harry to back down. To drop his case against the sun tablet owned by Rupert Murdoch. And now, they are saying that it's Kim Milton who came up with that recollection of Harry. <laughs> response 
<laughs> my family, there is no way. There is no way. Now, my family, right now, even if you're someone who reads what comes from Rupert Murdoch, you'll ask yourself one question. Is Rupert Murdoch the Times paper lying then? Were they lying then or are they lying now? Were they lying then or are they lying now? This is what basically the so-called new story will bring anyone with a reasonable mind will make them think. A question they'll ask themselves. Were they lying then when they said the statement came from the queen or are they lying now? <laughs> My family, it just shows how media outlets in the UK lie so much about Harry Meghan that they can't keep a story straight. You know, is it so hard to have one narrative and stick to it? Because right now, you are seeing the palace complaining, explaining, giving out different narratives. And guess what? The media is going along with it. My family, it's quite, quite despicable. It's quite, quite despicable. And even someone said this. The same newspaper, same story, different narrative, which is which. And my family, I wish people would ask themselves those kinds of questions. Would do their own research and ask themselves those kind of questions. Which is which? The toxic Rupert Murdoch owned media, they lie so much, too much, that they can't even remember their own lies. They lie so much about Harry Meghan, they can't even stick to one narrative. They keep changing stories time and time again. My family, I know one person, two people, Harry Meghan, who never ever change their stories. Harry and Meghan never, ever change their stories. They stick to what they say. They stick to the Oprah interview. They stick to the Harry and Meghan series on what they have said. They stick with Harry's memoir, Spare. They don't change stories. However, every single time you see a new narrative, from the Rupert Murdoch owned media about Harry Meghan. Every day it's a new story. Every day a new narrative. Every day a new lie. Every single day. My family, just months ago, they were saying it came from the Queen. Years ago, the statement came from the Queen. And now it came from Kim Milton. Which is which? Is it so hard to stick to one narrative and just stick to it? Pick one lane and stick to that lane. Is that so hard for the UK media to do? To pick one lane and just stick to it? Is that so, so hard? Because clearly, that's so hard. So hard for the UK media. Because they know they have always been lying about Harry Meghan. Always. My family. Always been lying about Prince Harry Meghan. And they continue to lie about Prince Harry and Meghan. That's what they continue to do. My family. You know? And my family... The lies coming in from the palace and the UK media 
are just quite despicable. And once again, you are seeing Kim Milton being pitted against, you know, Meghan and Prince Harry. Time and time again. Even three years after Harry and Meghan fled the UK still, the main topic of conversation is Harry and Meghan. Three years after they fled the UK, my family still, they are talking about Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. You know, it's just how you know the royals they have in the UK are so boring that somehow the tabloids who refuse to move on from Harry and Meghan must look for a story from back in 2021. And speak about it right now. My family, it's quite, quite, you know, despicable what continues to happen time and time again, my family. Clearly, it's the tabloid media that refuse to move on from Harry and Meghan. They refuse to move on from Harry and Meghan. The tabloids continue to refuse to move on from Harry and Meghan. And guess what? They also don't want Harry and Meghan to move on. They don't want Harry and Meghan to move on. That's what they do not want. No wonder they keep bringing up stories from back in 2021 to speak about today in 2023. My family and my family is because clearly the only ones who are interesting is Harry and Meghan. The other ones are just so, so boring that they can't even talk about them without mentioning Harry and Meghan's names, my family. That's clearly, you know, what's happening right now, my family. They refuse to let go of Harry and Meghan. My family, just kindly hear what is being said. Apparently, a new book claims that Kay Milton was the one who insisted that Recollection of Mevari line must stay in Royal Family's fight back statement after Harry and Meghan's Oprah racism storm. New book has claimed. And Kate said history would judge the firm over its response to TV allegations. My family, forgive me, but Kate is not that smart. Kay Milton is not that smart. My family, the only ones who have the power to issue that kind of statement, my family, are the Queen, William, Charles, alongside their senior courtiers. The ones tasked with coming up with that statement. They are the other ones who have the power to do that. Not Camilla, not K. Milton, it's Charles, the Queen, and Prince William. They are the only ones who have that kind of power. Not K. Milton, not Camilla Parker Bowles. My family, they don't have that kind of power. They don't. My family. So clearly, in my opinion, I know exactly where this statement came from. It came from the Queen, Prince William, or Prince Charles and their courtiers. It came from that circle, but not from K. Milton. K. Milton ain't that smart. And that is a fact. That is a fact. And they said what they said to undermine what Harry and Meghan said in the Oprah interview. My family. And, you know, years after the Oprah interview, still, you are seeing the royal family explaining, complaining, and the media helping them 
in complaining and explaining because the media just can't move on. The tabloids can't move on from Harry Meghan. And also, apparently, these claims are coming from a new book. <laughs> a new book. <laughs> My family, these are the same people who will tell you, Harry and Meghan, you know, haven't you said enough about the royal family? Harry and Meghan, you know, what more is there to say? These are the same people who will say that. Who are using books not written by Harry and Meghan to create stories about Harry and Meghan. My family, they want Harry and Meghan quiet while they can shut up about Harry and Meghan. My family, it's utter hypocrisy. Utter hypocrisy. You know, when Harry did his memoir spare, the tablets and those so-called role experts, those carnival of so-called experts, they were like, you know, haven't you said enough? Isn't the Oprah interview enough? Isn't the Harry and Meghan look serious enough? You know? You know, what more, Harry and Meghan? What more? And my family, as I've always said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they can write 100 books, 200 books. It shall never be enough compared to how many articles are written about Harry and Meghan in a day. Negative articles. It will never be enough compared to the many books that are written about Harry and Meghan without their approval from people that Harry and Meghan have never even met. All people who have met Harry for 15 minutes and then wrote a book about Harry from a 15 minute meeting and then say I know more about Harry than Harry knows about himself it's despicable it's despicable and shameful and yet you don't hear the tablets the hypocritical UK tablets like Daily Mail Daily Express, The Sun Tablet or even The Times owned by Rupert Murdoch you don't hear them say, stop writing books about Harry and Meghan. You never, ever hear that. You never, ever hear that. Never. You never hear them saying, hey, look, role experts, you have said enough about Harry and Meghan. Now stop. You know? You never hear them saying, the well has run dry. What more do you have to say? You've written thousands of books about Harry Meghan. Now it's enough. There is nothing more to write. You never ever hear that. My family, these people want to profit from Harry and Meghan, but they don't want Harry and Meghan to make money off of talking about their lives, off of speaking about what they've experienced. My family, I always say, I've always said this, Prince Harry can write five books, six books, eight books, ten books. It shall never compare to the thousands of books, thousands of words attributed to nameless and faceless sources whom you can't see who claim they know Harry, who claim they know Meghan, who claim they have a scoop, a story about Harry and Meghan. Harry can write a thousand books. It shall never ever be enough. Never. But yet, he wrote one memoir. He did a Harry and Meghan series. And the tablets were like, haven't you said enough? The well has run dry, they keep saying about Harry and Meghan. What more do they have to say? However, 
you will never ever hear them tell other road experts, hey, look, shut your mouth. There's nothing more to say about Harry Megan. You never ever hear that. They want to be the ones who profit of causing pain and harm to Prince Harry and Meghan, to exploit Harry Meghan, to hound Harry Meghan, to spread negativity in their negative articles they write about Harry Meghan just to spread hate about Harry Meghan. They want to profit off of Harry Meghan, but they don't want Harry Meghan to make money talking about their lives. Speaking about themselves. You know, I recall when Harry Meghan played the UK and they signed a deal with Spotify and Netflix. I recall first of all when they signed a deal with Netflix, my family. With Netflix. There was this lie created by the tablets that Harry and Meghan are going to shoot a Fly on the Wall reality TV show it was a lie. My family. But they created that lie immediately after Harry and Meghan signed a deal with Netflix. My family, they were angry at the prospect, the thought of Harry and Meghan making money off of talking about their lives. And they came up with that, you know, I thought they wanted privacy story, which to this day has permeated the minds and hearts of people. My family, and yet we all know exactly why Harry and Meghan fled the UK. They fled because of racist abuse towards Meghan. They fled for their sanity, for their safety, to protect their mental health. Harry and Meghan fled for their lives. Because of the hateful rhetoric about them by the UK tabloid media, who then said Harry and Meghan left before, because they wanted privacy, not because of the abuse. And to this day, that's what they continue to say. And sadly, that lie, that narrative has permeated the minds and hearts of people. That somehow Harry Meghan left the UK because they wanted privacy. And yet, that ain't true. Harry and Meghan fled the UK to escape abuse. To escape the death threats. To protect their mental health and to get away from the UK tabloid media abuse. Of course, the abuse continues, my family. My thing is, as I've always said, one thing I'm happy about is that Harry and Meghan live in the US. Away from the toxic tabloid media. Away from the racist UK tabloids. My family in the US actually can open, you know, the TV at home, watch cartoons, and turn to a different channel without having to worry seeing his mother or father get abused. In the UK, they abuse Harry Megan every single day. Every single day, the attacks are relentless. The attacks are nonstop. Every day, there's a new narrative about Harry and Meghan because the tablets, the media, can't stick to one lie. <laughs> they keep changing stories. My family, they keep changing stories. My family, you know, one evidence that UK media are lying about Harry and Meghan is how much they keep changing their stories. Time and time again. Prince Harry and Meghan have stuck with their story. Of what happened to them, my family. We have seen in real time the pain Megan endured. We have seen what happened. We have seen the racism. Harry himself has spoken about the racism Megan went through 
in his memoir spare. You will easily find it. You can't miss it. You know? All you have to do is just search racism. If you have a you know Kindle reader on your phone, you can easily find it. Easily. Very, very easy. And you'll find exactly what Harry said about the racism Megan experience with examples. He even took his time to say exactly what was said about Megan. Just to prove to you what happened to them. But somehow, some way, you still see online someone who is delusional say that Harry and Meghan left the UK because they wanted privacy. I keep saying there are some people who just like to be lied to. My family and people who believe what they're told by Rupert Madok, they like to be lied to. I just have to speak the truth. They like to be lied to. You know? And my family you know what, Kimilton? His story will judge the royal family for the pain they have put Megan through. For the fact that Megan, a biracial woman, was forced to flee the UK because of a torrent of abuse from the royal family and also from the UK tabloid press. And the world shall never ever forget. The world shall never ever Forget the pain Megan has been put through. My family, this institution has put through so many women, you know, to go through so much pain. They have gone through so much pain. That is what the farm has done. They've put the women who have married the royal family through so much pain, from Diana to Megan, and even to those who have just been photographed alongside Harry. They've also been put through so much pain. Like what happened to Karen Flack? Who lost her life? Diana lost her life. Karen Flack lost her life. And now they have been targeting Megan for a very long time. They continue to attack and go after Megan. My family is disgusting what they are doing. The pain they've caused Harry, the pain they've caused Megan, it's quite, quite disgusting, my family. And I want to say this, no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, Lebedana, and Doria Raglan shall ever, ever prosper. My family, hate never wins. Love wins. And no matter what, the royal family and tablets keep throwing at Harry, Megan, my family, they'll never be able to break Harry and Meghan. Never. My family. Here is what is also being said in my family. That a global racism storm was sparked after Harry and Meghan claimed that when Meghan was pregnant with Archie, was pregnant with Archie, there had been concerns expressed at the palace about his possible skin color. My family... Some individuals who work for the UK media, like Trevor Phillips, you know, have said that that was not racist. My family, I want to remind people of what Megan actually said. Megan said there are concerns about what color of skin Archie will have. Concerns. Like you're worried about something. You're concerned. You're worried about what the baby will look like. Those concerns, keyword here being concerns, those concerns are what make what was it to Prince Harry about Meghan being pregnant with their firstborn child. Those concerns about what color of skin Archie will have, that means they are very, very much racist towards Megan. It proves racism. 
my family. On top of also all those articles full of racism written by the UK media about Megan. My family, no one can ever, ever forget. No one can forget that Archie was racially abused at just a few hours old. And even before he was even born, no one can ever, ever forget my family. So Megan did experience racism at the hands of the farm. And no one can ever, ever forget that. And my family also, the person who has wrote this book, this so-called book, his name is Valentine Law. And this is the same, same person who went to talk TV and said these words, and I want to quote his words about Megan, my family. He said, as long as Megan has breath in that body, Harry won't come back to the UK. My family. That's what he said about Megan. And that was a clear death threat towards Megan. Issued by Valentine Law. And my family, in his book, my family, this person also said that he has some private WhatsApp conversations between Harry and William. My family, now how could he possibly have forgotten that? Unless someone gave it to him or my family, he hacked either Harry or William's phone. My family. So clearly, I'll go with Prince William gave him those WhatsApp conversations for him to be able to write a book. Because my family, this person is someone who's close to Prince William, who does the bidding of Prince William. And my family, I always remember what he did. Those vile comments he made about Megan. My family, please kindly just hear this with my family. I think he's going to come back here, tail between legs, and she'll be, she'll be uh, back. That, that will, that, I guarantee that will never happen for one very particular right. reason: the kids. Those kids are going to stay in the United States. Harry loves, loves those kids to bit. He's, he's a great father. I'm convinced that he's always been terrific to children. Um, so while while she has breath in her body, those those kids will remain in the states, and therefore Harry. Will... Well, what she say? I'm fascinated by Harry. Utterly despicable what he said. Utterly despicable what he said. And my family also, this was the same person who was given that lie that Megan was a bully by the palace. The same, same person. And clearly, he is being briefed by Prince William. By William's office. That is what is happening right now. And it's quite, quite despicable what William is doing with family. You know? William is pleasing Rupert Murdoch. That is what William is doing with family. By giving him some stories. By creating some stories. It's despicable. And my family, no matter what they do, they'll never ever be able to break apart Harry and Meghan. They won't destroy Harry and Meghan. And Meghan is not leaving Harry. And neither is Harry leaving Meghan. Because we do know that's what they want so badly. My family, their evil plots will never ever succeed my family. My family, allow me to read some comments from members of the squad online who have seen this story. Now, someone said that they want us to believe that Kate, who the Queen called lazy, had power to influence a party statement. Her husband treats her appallingly. You know? As he turns to his alleged mistress. And she has power. Right. Distraction. Yet again. Someone said that. My family. And indeed exactly. My same same thoughts. There is no way Kim Milton is smart enough to come up with. Basically. A statement. 
to be issued by the palace. No way, my family. No way. This is just one other lie from the palace briefing some royal experts to reward them to reward them for their attacks on Harry and Meghan. That is what is happening. And my family, what William has done and continues to do is quite despicable. So my family, I think I've said enough, my family. Now tell me your thoughts about what I've just discussed kindly. I like to please kindly hear of you, my family. My family, hate never wins, love wins. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Hate never wins, love wins. And no weapon for against Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana, and Doria, Raglan, and Doria, Raglan shall ever prosper, my family. Shall ever prosper. So my family, kindly tell me your thoughts about this right now. I'd like to hear your opinion. Love your family always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.